In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step three masking effects that you can easily do within the InVideo video editor. Things like how to disappear behind an object like a pole, how to use masks to create unique gaming video reactions or tutorial video reactions, and even a unique way to make interview content. Now, whether you use these specific effects or not, you're gonna learn the techniques so that way when you have an idea, you have the idea and the tools you need to create awesome content. So let's jump into this tutorial. Masking effect number one is the disappearing pole effect. Now for this effect, I recommend shooting on a cloudy day, mainly because the lighting doesn't change and that is gonna help this effect work really well. Now you can do this all in one take, but you're going to start off recording just a blank slate of that pole doing absolutely nothing. And then you're gonna record you walking past the pole and then leaning out from the other side. It's okay if the other side's showing your legs right now, but you're going to erase that part inside in video. Once you're done recording that, you can hop over to invideo.io because InVideo is actually a web browser-based video editing software. So create an account, log in, and follow along with this tutorial. Now for most of my projects, I choose blank canvas and choose to edit in a wide 16 by nine. And what I'm gonna do is click make a video. Once inside the video editor, you can head over to the upload section and then just click upload media and add the footage to the editor. I've actually already done this and have it right here. So all I'm gonna do is click on the footage and it's going to allow me to trim it right away, which will drag this spot over right to where I'm about to walk on right there and then we'll trim the other side here to right after me peeking out then click done and it adds it right to our timeline now here's the part that's going to help us sell this effect what we are actually going to do is click on timeline and we are going to drag the same video clip over and drop it here and you'll see it instantly pops up drop to add as a layer which is what we want to do and this is the part that where we're just gonna scroll over here. And since there's nothing happening on this side of the screen, we're actually gonna crop the video and line it up right here. And it's gonna help us do the effect. So let's do that right now. So there we go. We'll increase the size to fit the screen. There we go, now it matches up. Then what we're gonna do is click crop. We're gonna click on this lock bar here, which will help us crop it in a very unique way where we can drag right over. We're gonna line it up right at the end of the pole here. We're gonna click the done icon. And you'll see it kind of screws it up initially, but just that uh, we have to move this over and line it back up again. All right, so let's click play and see how this looks. Super cool. Masking effect number two is that unique gaming video reaction or tutorial reaction. All right, so inside the editor, I've already gone to upload media and have added this gaming video to my timeline. Now, what we wanna do is open up the masks area here. So we're gonna scroll down to masks. And what we're gonna do is click on this circle here and add this into our area. So I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. Yep, there's the whole mask covering it, awesome. And I'm just gonna click on the sides here and resize it and move it over to the corner here. And now what we can do is actually scroll back up to uploads. And what we're gonna do is grab this and what we're gonna do is actually scroll over and drop it right on top of the mask. And what that's gonna do allow us to trim the video first, which I'm gonna do. And now it's being added to the mask. And it's a little zoomed out, so what I can do is I can actually come up here, click Edit Mask, and I can actually zoom myself in a bit more. So I'm gonna move myself right there, so I'm on screen and a little more zoomed in. Click Save, and there we go. Now we have this cool reaction of me playing the game, and I like these little lines and stuff on here because it just gives it a more unique look than just a basic circle on the screen. Masking effect number three is how to make a very cool and unique looking interview. Now I'm here in the blank canvas 16 by nine and what I'm actually gonna do here is go to videos and I'm gonna, gonna find a unique background for my interview. So I'm gonna scroll through some of these videos and I really like this one right here so I'm going to click on it 
and then click done and add it here to my timeline. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the mask section again, right here, and we're gonna find a good mask for both of our interviewees. So I actually put into the search bar rectangle and got a few search results. And I actually like this one right here. So I'm going to click on that. And this is where our first person is gonna go. I'm gonna increase the size and set it off to the side right here. And then I'm gonna click on it again for our second interviewee. Increase that size. And, and uh, NVIDIA makes it really easy to line it up just right. And now what we can do is actually go to the upload section again, and we can add our interviewee videos here. So I'm gonna grab the first one, drag it over right here. I'm just gonna click done. And then we're gonna grab the second video and drag it over to the second option there. Click done. And now when we click play here, we actually have this very unique interview setup where you could have two people and an interesting background going on just to really spice things up with interview videos. If you found value in this video and wanna learn more video editing tips and tricks, be sure to give this video a like and check out this video right over here where we show you how to clone yourself easily even if you're not a professional editor. This is Colin with NVIDIA and I'll see you in the next one.